Hey guys, my name is Lena. Summer is over, so let's check out all the major fall and winter fashion trends we have out there. I looked through tons of collections, so today we're gonna have a lot of visual runaway references we can take inspiration from. And without further ado, let's jump right in. I think one of the biggest widely spread trend we could see is definitely a leather. It can be a little pop of leather, but also we did have a lot of head to toe leather moments on runaways this season. For example, you can check the collection from Saint Laurent and Tots. I think it's hard to find the brand that do include any leather pieces to their collection. And this is obviously one of the trends that can be really variable in real life, especially when we talk about the pop of leather. For example, I'm just wearing a leather biker jacket right now. But when it comes down to total leather looks, it can be kind of tricky. An outfit like this can end up being a little bit campy. So I can recommend you to dress it down with some simple shoes, simple bags, simple overall like hairstyle, makeup. And I definitely think the leather trench coats will be huge again this year. So if you're thinking about getting a trench coat for this season, definitely check out the leather ones. The next big trend we have out there, it's definitely platforms. I think the Marc Jacobs went really, really big on this one. But as usual, we can see a lot of platforms at Versace and even at Max Mara that used to be seen as a more conservative type of fashion brand. I'm personally obsessed with platform. Most of the shoes I'm getting for myself has at least a little bit of platform moment. I think it always works with proportions really great and makes your outfit more interesting and it also makes you a little bit taller if you don't like to wear heels like myself. Next trend I notice a lot on Runaway is this integration of a sport wear into regular outfit and it was quite a big on Runaway this season. You can check out brands like Perny, Balmain, Diesel for sure, McQueen, Acne Studio and even Dior that really famous for more classic feminine type of looks added this football player uniform elements and it works because it really plays on contrast here and since there's not much you can really invent from scratch create something brand new and groundbreaking brands try to play with something that already exists and try to find different combinations trying to create a new style new aesthetic i think the biker core is really popping right now we've seen a lot of sport model type of jackets here we definitely can take some inspiration checking out the modern celebrities like kim kardashian dua lipa rosalia because they usually work tightly with the brands to create some new trends the next trend that was pretty big in fall winter collection is definitely all type of business wear for sure classic suits we've seen a lot of them blazers pants button-ups mostly oversized we can say thanks to balenciaga for this one more time but i really like to take inspo from their shows but you also can check out the mcqueen one and also one of my personal favorite peter doe he created this amazing minimalistic concept that is really eye-pleasing fashion can reflect what's happening in society right now and since a lot of people getting back to the offices at the moment business wear start to pop out that's probably why we had this one of the hottest summer trend with button-up west like an allusion to business wear but not really and it can be more minimalistic and neutral but we've also seen a lot of more bold color bold color is actually a next trend we have today we've seen a lot of once again pink and green not something new but they were really really big on the runaway I also have seen a pop of red here and there a lot. Prada had a really big moment with a leather pink trench coat and Versace I think went super extreme with handful of total head to toe pink looks. The next pretty major trend that I noticed is definitely the upcycling. I think in general it's all because sustainability and 
mindful shopping gaining their popularity through the last couple of years especially and it reflects in fashion designs for sure and it's actually a nice trend to check out and take the inspiration from because we always can find something that we don't really use in our closet and try to adjust it a little bit i think you can check out the acne studio they had a lot of this kind of upcycling type of clothes once again the diesel and a bunch of other brands has some kind of upcycling vibes as well the next try i notice is all type of straps and cutouts it definitely can be more provocative like you can see at latest glitter campaign with bell hadid and i believe megan de Stallion. it was so amazing like aesthetic pleasing for sure i believe i even reposted something on my instagram but it can be definitely can be more romantic like in recent jack muse collection that was heavily inspired by the wedding theme for obvious reasons but it easily can be fitted into everyday look you can balance it with something more oversized add some layering you can check out the off-white for example to take some inspiration or once again acne studio has something with straps so i think leather straps another trend that is pretty huge and i've seen a lot of people was talking about it it's 90s minimalism i think the major characteristic for the vintage minimalism is simple forms and simplicity in general that's why the plain white tank top popped out it's definitely gonna be huge upcoming season. You can check out the Prada and Bottega to see that they really made this simple white tank, this statement piece, center of attention in the collection. I think it's one of the nice trends. You can really wear it. It's nice for everyday use, and especially for a full season when you can wear it as a first layer under a blazer and jackets. In 90s minimalist, we also can see simple dresses and probably 90s types of corsets tops i think if you want to create a look an outfit inspired by this trend i think with all this 90s trend it's more about the vibe than the some specific piece of clothing it's neutral colors minimal makeup and just simple hairstyles the next trend that it's hard to say that it's super like popular trend, but it's something that I wanted to mention because I've seen it a lot. Most of the brands include a total black looks in their collection, and there are so many of them that I just can miss it out. If you want to find the inspo, you can for sure check Balenciaga. I think it's the first place to start, but really most of the brand made a total black looks. So you can check Versace, Chloe, Balenciaga, a lot of other brands. This is something that I can be more happy about. Total black looks is some of my favorite way to dress for every day. The next trend we have is pleated skirts and we've seen a lot of mini pleated skirts during the summer now we also have a lot of midi and maxi skirts i think maxi pleated skirt is definitely something fresh it gives this preppy aesthetic you can check out brands like dior rock Miu Miu, off-white also berber made these pleated skirts in their signature berber print as i was saying in one of my previous video i believe i think wearing a maxi skirt is really a nice way to make your outfit look more dramatic maxi is not something you really see a lot on the streets these days even though it's really popular right now and by the way not only pleated skirts but all the maxi skirts was really big on runaways as well we've seen once again a dior and acne studio chloe make their own version also my favorite the row and the last trend for today that is not really exciting for me but i want to mention it because it's definitely true the bomber jackets are back so if you still have one from this 
five years ago trend definitely pull it out of the closet we've seen bella hadid rocking it out and some street style photos for the inspiration you probably can check out like most of major fashion brands like prada versace i see something in elsa so we've discussed all the major trends we're gonna have this fall and winter season but don't forget if you want to have a nice wardrobe you need to always start not from trends but from good base so if you want to know how to build your perfect base fall wardrobe check this video right here i hope you guys will have an amazing week and i'll see you in the next one